And we're joined now by Cindy McNair from the Rocky Mountain Feline Rescue and Dr. Dean Vixman from Evans East Hospital. We're here with Taylor this morning. Talk about Taylor, beautifully black kitty. Isn't she pretty? Mm -hmm. Taylor's a four-year-old spayed female. She came in as a stray. She's been at the shelter since June. She loves people. She loves to be held. <laughs> but she's not real crazy about other cats. So <laughs> she definitely needs to find a home. Without any other cats. You know, it, it's hard to tell because at the shelter, yeah. there's a hundred little faces right. looking at, you know, so it's, <laughs> I think she might do fine in a smaller okay. cat household, but with with as many as we have at the shelter, it's just right. tough for her. A little overwhelming for her. <laughs> You're very yeah. soft. Yeah, she's a doll. She's, she is. Very and she nice. talks. Yeah, she, yeah, right when you said other cats, she kind of meowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe she, there's something to that. She'll ask you. Go. She'll ask you about your day, and then she'll <laughs> tell you all about hers. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's a doll. Dr. Dean, we're talking yeah. about heat stroke. That's a real serious thing in pets. Let's talk well, about for sure. It. When, when it comes to heat stroke, we have to remember that unlike humans who sweat, our dogs pant to cool their body temperature down, and that's so much less efficient than sweating, mm -hmm. and so they're far more prone to heat stroke. The clinical signs that we typically see depend upon the severity of the disease. For example, if it's less severe, you'll just see like excessive panning and salivation. If it's more severe, they can even have a coma or go into death. Jeez. So the treatment really depends again on the severity. If it's minor, owners can take them out of the heat, get them into a cool environment. They can cool them down with like cool water. You shouldn't use cold water or ice. You should only use cool water. And obviously, if it's more severe, it really requires veterinary attention. Okay. And I guess the good the news is, is that it's really very preventable. Obviously, <laughs> keep your pet out of cars. That's the number one thing. Right. And then number two, if it's hot outside, just make sure you have lots of shade in your backyard and cool water for your pet. All right, perfect. Great information there. And Taylor, I think you're going to get a home. I do. <laughs> I do. You're so sweet. To contact Dr. D uh, uh, Cindy McNair at Evans, uh, Dr. <laughs> what am I saying here? <laughs> Dr. Dean at Evans East Hospital. Call 303 757 7881 for information on adopting. Log on to the DenverChannel.com and find the link under the lifestyle tab. All right, thanks for joining us. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Enjoy Thank the nice you. weather out there.